the Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved to Canada after announcing they were quitting as royals and becoming financially independent. But the 93-year-old monarch has reportedly asked them to return to the UK next month for the annual Commonwealth service with the rest of the royals next month. Government representatives of the 53-member nations will gather at Westminster Abbey for the one-hour event on the afternoon of March 9. For the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, it will be wrapped into a wider whistle-stop schedule which will mark their final duties on the family front line. The traditional Commonwealth service will also see other senior members of the royal family in attendance, including the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall. At last year's event, Meghan was heavily pregnant with now nine-month Archie, who will fly with his parents from Canada for their engagements. The couple are expected to arrive in the UK with Archie, who will be 10 months old, to attend the event. Commonwealth Day is an annual celebration held on the second Monday of March. This year, the ceremony will take place at Westminster Abbey on March 9 at 3 p.m. Her Majesty's invitation will see the couple press pause on their new pared-back lifestyle which has allowed them to profit their royal fame. On Thursday, Prince Harry and Meghan attended an exclusive event in Miami, where they were guest speakers at a Florida investment summit sponsored by J.P. Morgan. The couple were reportedly flown on the J.P. Morgan private jet from Vancouver to Palm Beach, where they're said to have stayed at the home of Meghan's longtime friend tennis legend Serena Williams. The summit was attended by the likes of Patriots owner Bob Kraft and billionaire philanthropist Robert Frederick Smith. Harry spoke to the audience, which consisted of bankers and celebrity guests, about dealing with the death of his mother, Princess Diana. According to several reports, Harry was very open about how his mother's tragic death affected him as a child, and still to this day, which led him to seek out professional help. The Duke also reportedly spoke about his and Meghan's choice to step back from their roles as senior working members of the royal family last month, a decision he reportedly does not regret as he doesn't want Meghan and their son Archie to go through what he did as a child. Ron Tertian, CEO of New York-based firm 5W Public Relations, said he expects the couple to have made between $500,000 and $1 million from the appearance. Harry and Meghan will be the highest paid speakers that exist on the corporate market. Next month's Commonwealth Day ceremony will likely see the Duke and Duchess reunite with William and Kate, with whom they are rumored to have fallen out. When they were pictured smiling together at the 2019 event, the group were known as the Fab Four, a nickname which has since evaporated after the Sussexes severed professional ties by pulling out of the Kensington Palace household and their joint charitable foundation. In one of his final engagements before flying to Canada last month, Harry told guests at a charity dinner for Santa Bill that the UK will always be his home and that he and Meghan had hoped to serve the Queen and country. The UK is my home and a place that I love. That will never change, he said. I have grown up feeling support from so many of you, and I watched as you welcomed Meghan with open arms as you saw me find the love and happiness that I had hoped for all my life. He continued, I will continue to be the same man who holds his country dear and dedicates his life to supporting the causes, charities and military communities that are so important to me. Together, you have given me an education about living. And this role has taught me more about what is right and just than I could have ever imagined. We are taking a leap of faith, thank you for giving me the courage to take this next step.